if I had to pick either road or track cycling, I think I'd have to pick track. I do love both, but all my big kind of main goals in my career have always been to do with track, mainly team pursuit, so yeah, I'd have to choose track. To keep fit during lockdown, um, luckily we can still train outside, so training's been pretty similar to normal really. Um, mix it up a bit, adding a few more turbo sessions in to keep the road rides a bit closer to home. Um, and then we can't go to the gym at the moment, so just kind of making do with a bit of home gym with the equipment that I've got, which is very limited, but yeah, pretty similar to normal really. Uh, it's quite hard to have a big goal in mind at the moment when we don't really know what's on and what's not, so just kind of keeping working, waiting to see what, what kind of races we can do and then just to make the most of the opportunities we get. I think my favourite cycling memory is kind of general memory of being a bit, a bit younger, living at home um, and me and my sister were both racing so we'd go away for weekends or week trips to race with my mum and dad. Um, we'd all go in the camper van and kind of make like a little holiday out of it and I think it just really brought us closer as a family and I'm really grateful for that, that time we had. If I wasn't a full time cyclist, I'm not sure what career I would have gone for. Um, I've never really thought about anything other than being a cyclist but I think I've always wanted to do something to do with sport, um, whether that's kind of like a sports psychologist or nutritionist or S&C coach. But um, I haven't really planned that far ahead yet. My cycling role model uh, is a bit cringy but probably my sister because we've grown up together and I've seen her kind of do all the amazing things she's done with her career um, so I don't have to look that far for a role model. If I could guarantee achieving one thing in my career um, it'd be Team Pursuit Olympic gold medal. Um, it's just always been kind of the goal for as long as I can remember um, going through the British Cycling programmes from junior till now. So, yeah, Olympic Team Pursuit gold medal. I started cycling when I was seven. Um, I kind of came across it by accident because it was um, outside my local leisure centre in Cardiff. We had an outdoor cycling track, so I'd go for my swimming lessons and we just would see the kids out having fun on their bikes and we just thought we'd like to give it a go um, so we did we went on a Saturday morning and it just became like how we'd go to swimming lessons we just started going to cycling on a Saturday and it kind of just grew from there um, we started I probably started racing when I was about nine taking it seriously as serious as you can take it when you're nine um, The main thing I miss about cycling at the moment, obviously being able to travel and go races and training camps, um, I, we've missed our normal Mallorca training camp that we do pre-season and then you know all the all the amazing races that we could have been doing and we've missed the Tour of Yorkshire and we'd be the Women's Tour of Britain soon. Um, just racing, travelling, seeing all my teammates, um, hopefully we'll be back to normal soon. Uh, my favourite place to train on the road is probably Mallorca. Um, I think a lot of people would say that. I haven't been there for a couple of years now, but we used to go um, for a couple times a year for a training camp. Um, it's just really pretty when the sun's out, nice views, good roads. You can have really nice hilly routes or flat routes. Um, yeah, it's just a really good place to train. <laughs>